Hi, Year 10. Um, hopefully I will be seeing you, uh, most of you this week. This lesson, all these lessons are being posted uh, because some of you will be in having tests and so on. So we will do online learning uh, where needed. OK, so this is the first lesson of week three. And the topic we're looking at uh, this week is daily routine, La Vida Cotidiana. So if you can have a look here, here's the title, La Vida Cotidiana. Wait for that to go away. I don't know why it takes so long. La Vida Cotidiana and write the date, um, which for 10A this morning will be Martes 9 de Marzo. Okay, so there's your uh, date and title. What we're looking at this week is uh, vocab about daily routines uh, and a couple of particular structures along with reflexive verbs. So um, let's have a look and see to the starter, please. Para empezar. This draws on what we learned last week in week two, which was relationships. So things like I'm single, I look like my dad should be familiar. If not, look back in your book, please. Off you go, a couple of minutes to do this. Say pause the video, but hopefully you have. You should be in the habit of that. You've now done the work and you're ready to move on. So I am single. Oh, I forgot to put the things here, never mind. Right, I am single. Should be estoy or um, soltero or soltera, depending on which you, um, whether you're male or female. Estoy soltero. Estoy soltera. I look like my dad is me parezco a mi padre. Me parezco a mi padre. I get on well with my brother. Me llevo bien con mi hermano. Me llevo bien con mi hermano. Número cuatro. My stepmom is quite strict. You know, need to know the vocab there for stepmom, which is madrastra. So mi madrastra es bastante severa. Mi madrastra es bastante severa. Or you could have got estricta as well for strict. I have a boyfriend. Tengo novio. Remember, you don't use the uh there. You don't say tengo un novio. It's just tengo novio. Um, okay. Next. So that was your starter. So we're going straight into the main body of the lesson here. And here we have la vida cotidiana. And we're going to, to match up the images, please, with the phrases here. We've got one to nine um, in terms of sentences, but there are only five um is that right? One, two, three, four, five uh, pictures. So you'll be left with some left over. So find out if you can see what those mean as well. Okay, so pause the video, start when you're ready. Okay, so hopefully you finish this and some of this you will have known, some of you will have looked up, some of you will have just thought, oh, I'll wait till she tells me. So let's have a look. Um, me visto. Is there a Picture for me visto. Um, no, there's some way around, isn't it? Let's do the particular A. All right, he's sleeping. So A, he's sleeping, and it should be, uh, where is it? Number nine, me acuesto. It's because I go to bed. Me acuesto is I go to bed. B, here he is, he's about to dive into the sea and have a bath or wash. So that is numero seis, me baño en el mar. Now, hopefully, you would have got that from here, whether you might have thought that was the sea, but that's actually a river, isn't it? So, me baño en el mar, goes with that one, I bathe in the sea. Number uh, C, he's cleaning his teeth. That is, you should remember that dientes is the word for teeth from year, uh, year nine. You saw that, me lavo los dientes, is I clean my teeth. Lavarse is to wash. So, it's to wash, to clean your teeth. D, he's eating a fish. Um, and that is ceno, pescado, because again, you're picking up the key word there, pescado. Cenar is to have dinner. So ceno, pescado is I have to fish for dinner. E, you've got here is fruta, obviously. So desayuno, fruta. So that's another um, meal here, el desayuno. And it's also a verb in the sentence. Desayuno is I have for breakfast. So desayuno, fruta is I have fruit for breakfast. So those are your five which left you with, you didn't have me visto, me peino, me afeito, 
Och med despierto, I'm sorry, me visto, me despierto, me peino, me afeito. Right, you're going to find out what those mean at the minute. If you do know, then um, well done. Hopefully you can be shouting at the screen, but I don't want to tell everyone what they are, but you just feel good about it if you've got them right. We'll find out in a second. Okay, so once you've written those down and you know them, let's move on. So here we go. Here's the first one we didn't have. Me despierto temprano comes from the verb, verb despertarse and it's to wake up. So I wake up early, me despierto temprano. This is all the vocab presentation here, so you'll be writing it uh, as we go through, but you can write it slide by slide if you prefer. Me levanto is I get up. So think about levitating or something to help you remember this. I get up. Me levanto from the verb levantarse. Número tres is me ducho from the verb ducharse, to have a shower. Me lavo los dientes, we've already seen. I clean my teeth and that's from lavarse. So you can either wash yourself, me lavo, or me lavo los dientes. Me baño, I have a bath, from the verb bañarse. Me peino, I brush my hair. Or I, it could be I comb my hair, I brush my hair. As I do my hair, we'd probably say, wouldn't we? I do my hair in the morning. Peinarse is to do your hair. Me afeito is I shave. Me afeito, so I was just looking at the pictures there. Me afeito is from the verb afeitarse and it's to shave. Me visto, we saw already, and that was the one that wasn't on the pictures, is to get dressed. Me visto. Now there you can tell the infinitive is vestirse. It's me visto, it's obviously a stem changing verb. Desayuno is not reflexive. And it's not reflexive because you're not doing it to yourself, are you? You're just having your breakfast. So desayuno is I have breakfast from desayunar. Merienda is another stem changing verb. It's from merendar. And that's to have um, like a snack or have, you can say have tea or have snack. It's when you go home from school and you eat half the biscuit tin or just sort of stand in front of the fridge eating stuff from it. Um, ceno is to have dinner, cenar, or ceno is I have dinner, cenar is to have dinner. Me acuesto is I go to bed, from acostarse, so it's another stem changing verb. Now there are a lot of verbs in this topic which are reflexive and are also stem changing, so you need to be careful because there's a lot of things to manipulate and remember in this topic. OK, and here we have the vocab. So if you can write that down, if you've done it as you've gone through, that's fine. Otherwise, can you please write it down? What I should have in this list is the infinitives as well. So you might want to go back and check in the video and write the infinitives down as well. OK, so pause it and move on when you're ready. And we're just going to do a quick recap of reflexive verbs. So we saw some of these last week. They're connected with the relationships. Llevarse bien con, to get on well with. Parecerse a, is to look similar to someone. Um, they often also describe an action that you do to, your, to yourself. And they're quite often daily routine because it's I get up, I go to bed, I get dressed, I brush my teeth, I shower, I wash and so on. And they're things that you do to yourself. And here we're just going to do a quick recap. We've got the verb lavarse, to wash oneself. If you have that without the say, if you have just lavar and then lavo, lavas, lava, lavamos, lavais, lavan, that's to wash something. And you might want to use that to say, I wash the car, lavo el coche, or I wash the clothes, lavo la ropa. But here, if you're washing yourself, then it's reflexive. And if you remember, these are the reflexive pronouns. You take the AR off, you keep the SE, but you move it to the front and you change it according to whoever it is um, that you're talking about. So if you've got O at the end of a reflexive verb, that relates to I, hablo, tengo, vivo, escucho. If it's got O at the end, it's going to have me in the front because it's the that's the reflexive pronoun that relates to the first person singular, to the I form. So reflexive pronouns, 
present tense endings, put them together and you have the reflexive verb. So, despertarse, me despierto. The next one would be, te despiertas. Now, this is what a stem changing verbs. And it's where the change takes place in the first part, in the stem of the verb. Um, and it's in the second, it's in the final syllable, or final vowel. So it's, this is the second, oh, so we'll stop doing that. It's the second E, which is going to change. So des, and then E here changes to IE, despierto. The, I've just realized the spelling set there, that should be an R there, shouldn't it? I beg your pardon. I don't know if I can change that because that's going to cause problems. Let's have a look, let's change it. Despertarse, sorry about that. Okay, so here we've got some of the examples, the ones that appear in this thing. So, despertarse is to um, wake up, me despierto. Acostarse, to go to bed. The O changes to a UE. And it's the, as I said, it's the final, uh, the final vowel. There's only one vowel here before the, in the stem, so it has to be that one. Um, vestirse, there's only one vowel again in the stem. Me visto. Okay, practicamos, let's have a look. So, can you please do these ones? So we get up, they shower, he had a bath. Now be careful here because I've put in different tenses because you are practiced enough now with using past, present and future. So you need to include them in all your work. So you get used to doing these things in different tenses. Didn't mean to do that. I've now revealed the first one, um, but it's from levantarse. So we get up is nos levantamos. So go back, check the infinitives. Uh, I can tell you that shower is ducharse, sorry, ducharse, to have a bath, bañarse, desayunar, it's not, it's not a reflexive verb that, desayunar is to have breakfast, to wake up is despertarse, to shave, afeitarse, and to do your hair, peinarse. Okay, so pause the video, write these down, and be careful with your tenses. Okay, so I'm um, assuming you've paused and you've done this and you've had to look up in your verb tables maybe, but hopefully you have them right. So they shower, ducharse, it's se duchan. So that's an AR verb, regular, an is the ending in the present tense. You've got they, so it's um, se in the front for the reflexive pronoun. He had a bath, excuse me. So bañarse is to have a bath. It's an AR verb. So it's the pressure at tense. And the he, she, it ending of a pressure at tense verb, if it's AR, is O with an accent. So you should have se bañó. Oh, sorry, I'm cold. So yeah, bañar, bañarse, if it were, um, do this sort of manipulation first of all in a non in a straightforward verb. So hablar. If it was an AR verb, he spoke, it would be hablo. So bañar, baño. But you need to put the say in the front to make it reflexive. Se baño. We are going to have breakfast. It's not reflexive. It's just desayunar. And it's the immediate future. Vamos a desayunar. You woke up. So this is despertarse. Now that's reflect. Is a stem changing verb only in the present. It's not stem changing the preterite. So it's despertaste. So despertar, you singular in the preterite, aste, tu despertaste, uh, and it's te because it's reflexive. He shaved. It's going to be se in the front. It's an AR verb, so it's going to be the same ending as se bagno, but it's se afeito. And we did our hair. That's penarse in the preterite for the we form, it's amos. So it's nos penamos. One thing you will notice, of course, if you remember, you've seen this before, is the preterite tense and the present tense in the we form, the endings for an AR verb are the same. So nos penamos could be, could be we do our hair, or it could be we did our hair. 
similarly at the top, nos levantamos, it could be we got up, or it could be as it is, we get up. And you need some more context to decide which tense you're looking at. Okay, so we've gone through that fairly quickly. Um, and I'm just going to, I didn't mean to click on that again. So you've, we've gone through this very quickly, but hopefully you've paused where you needed to. You should have written down all the vocab you need. You should have understood the reflexive verb recap. And you should also have um, sort of revised the, uh, the stem changing verbs. And what we've done is look at the vocab at daily routines. We're going to look at the rest of this in the lessons two and three. Thank you very much indeed, year 10. And I'm really looking forward to seeing you, lots of you in class this week. For the moment, though, adios.